Hey Dojo friends, I thought you might like to take a look at this new sword I just got from Cloudhammer Steelworks and this is called the Earth Dragon. Let's take a close look. All right, this is called the Earth Dragon, so I'm down here on the Earth. Let's take a peek at this piece by piece and then in the next video, probably coming later this week or early next, I'll do some cutting with this and another sword I'm going to show you that I got. So again, this is from Cloudhammer, and I got this from RVA Katana from my good friends Scott and John, and they have really, really good prices on these swords. This is kind of a budget Tameshigiri type sword. It's made of a German spring steel, so it has a great blade, modern metallurgy, really, really nice. So let's take a peek. So the Kashida here, as you can see, is just plain, and I don't know what the design is on there. It could be a dragon. Yeah, it looks like a dragon on there. And the transition to the Ito is good. It's not sharp or anything here. The lines are smooth. The first thing you'll notice is this beautiful brown leather wrap here. This Ito is what Cloud Hammer is known for. This is the tightest wrap out there on the market, in my opinion. You cannot move this for the life of you. So if you want a super tight and comfortable, high quality leather wrap, if you're kind of tired of the cotton or the silk, this is the type of sword you want to get from this particular company. So the Ito on here is brown with the black same on there. And I don't think that's real Samegawa from scratching it. It does not seem real to me, but I, I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't look real underneath there, which doesn't matter to me at all, but it might matter to you. The Manuki here is a dragon. I don't know if you can see that dragon there hidden underneath. Pretty cool. The Fuchi matches the Kashira and it has more of that dragon design. And again, the transitions here are very, very smooth. From what I've read, these are all copper fittings. The Super Guard here is this copper kind of wrapped dragon. I like that design there. Everything seems to match this beautiful brown and gold design. And I'll take a peek at the other side. Again, you have this gold wrapped dragon here. Because the guard has a lot of cutouts in it, it makes the sword fairly light. Cracking the blade here, you have a pretty typical standard habaki there. Nothing to say about that. The sepa match, all in this gold color. Nothing special there. All these swords are pretty standard that way. Now, as I said before, this is Cloud Hammer's entry-level practical katana, and it's made from a German 51 CRV4 alloy spring steel. So as you can see, there is no hamon on here at all, but it is razor sharp. This one does have a bohi fuller here, which makes the blade a bit lighter. And let me draw the sword out completely and let you take a look at it here. So the 51 CRV4 German spring steel has a Rockwell hardness of 57, and it has a hardness to hold up to a sharp cutting edge. It can also be bent a lot without a deformation. If you hit targets poorly at the wrong angle, this sword is not gonna bend easily. It has an impact rating of 108, and this allows for repeated blows against hard targets. So if you're gonna use soft or hard, I think this one's gonna hold up well for beginners. Looks like kind of a ko or chukasaki on the end there, which is pretty standard. And the yokote is not real there. And this is just a beast of a cutting blade. Don't worry, I'll wipe it off afterwards. There's a nice edge on here. The blade length is 27 point around 27.5 inches or 70 centimeters and the scar length handle length is about about 26 centimeters like 10 inches or so that's pretty standard the weight of the entire sword with the scabbard is 1030 grams or 2.2 pounds and i would recommend this as a nice budget sword for beginner cutters that want a spring steel the Saya is a budget black Saya, and it has this kind of raindrop pattern on it, which is pretty common. That's really good for not showing fingerprints. So if you ding this, you hit it wrong, or your hands are kind of gross, 
This is not going to leave marks on the scabbard, which a lot of people prefer over that bright black piano finish that shows every little dot and nick and fingerprint. Sageo on here is the brown silk. It looks like cotton or silk or synthetic silk, I'm not sure. In this traditional presentation wrap, which I will undo when I start to draw with the sword. Koiguchi is pretty typical. There's no buffalo horn reinforcement, so you have to be careful how you draw this out. It's just your standard, typical black scabbard for a budget sword. This is really all you need. And as I said before, later on, I promise that I will cut with this into some tatami mats. It has a nice snug fit on the habaki right here, which is good. It's not going to fall out. There's a little bit of rattle at the bottom, which is something that they could probably fix. As you can hear, there's a rattle. That never bothers me much. Swords are going to make noise. But a better custom saya would fit better, of course. And again, you don't get many swords with that beautiful brown leather wrap. That just gives it a whole other class to it that other swords I see in this particular price range just don't have. These retail for about $350 each, but again, because RVA Katana has some of the lowest prices in the market, those guys don't do this for a living. They do it because of their love of swords. They offer this bad boy at $300. That is a great amount of sword for the price point. A lot of swords I've ordered that cost much more than that have terrible ito that moves around, the pieces are cheap looking, and the steel is nowhere near as good of quality. Cloud Hammer, formerly known as Bizer, is just knocking it out of the park with these budget swords. Keep an eye out later in the week or next week. We'll do some cutting with this. For now, I'll put a link below to RVA Katana, and you can click on the Cloud Hammer site and order it from there. So there you have the 51 CRV4 German Spring Steel Earth Dragon.